goes without saying that interviews are stressful, even for the most experienced professional. That's why we've collected a handful of questions likely to be asked for an interview for an accounts payable position and crafted answers. These are related to the accounting and basic process part of your interview. If you have answers to likely questions planned ahead of time, some of the anxiety associated with these encounters can be eliminated. This is part of a series of broadcasts on answering interview questions. And by the way, for each of these questions, we've got an additional short video for you to listen to if you want to, to be thoroughly prepared on topics that you may not be comfortable with. We put them all in a playlist called preparing for your accounts payable job interview in case you want to watch them all at the end. Make sure you stick around until the end when we address the one question that seems to throw many even though it really shouldn't. Hey guys, I'm Mary Schaefer, founder of AP Now, the place where you go for all the latest business intelligence you need if you work in, manage, or have responsibility for the accounts payable or payment function. Now, interviews sometimes start off slowly before they zing you with their really killer question, but don't get cocky because answering one of these softball questions wrong could really put you behind the eight ball. So let's see what they're likely to start with. What is accounts payable? Now, surprise them by pointing out that accounts payable really has two distinct meanings, an accounting finance definition and a functional one. Accounts payable is a short-term liability of any organization, but it also refers to the department that pays the company's invoices or bills, along with some other related responsibilities. If you feel the need to expand your knowledge on this, watch the video entitled, What is Accounts Payable? in our playlist. There is a link in the description. Now, this might be followed with a little harder question. What is the difference between AP and AR? Basically, AP, accounts payable, refers to cash going out, and AR, accounts receivable, refers to cash in. Accounts payable is considered a short-term liability, while AR is a short-term asset. Again, there's a link to a longer description. Then they might want to see if you really understand the nuances of the position, so they might ask, what is a chart of accounts? Now, don't let this throw you. Just about every accounts payable department uses the GL chart of accounts. The general ledger chart of accounts is simply a listing of every account in the general ledger. Most, but not all, accounts payable departments do the GL coding for the invoices they process. And speaking of invoices, it's only a matter of time before they ask, how would you process an invoice? Now, you want to begin by mentioning that, you know, every organization has a slightly different process and you would follow whatever their company's policy was when it came to processing invoices, if that's what you were responsible for. Then go on and explain how you would process an invoice from a very generic best practice standpoint. If they ask if this is how it was done in your prior organization, be truthful. If it wasn't, say so. You should be very careful when you point out where best practices weren't used. You want to be tactful about how you word this because the one thing you don't want to be seen as is criticizing a former employer. This is never a good look, no matter how tempted you are and how much they deserve it. We've got a short video in the description which goes through in detail how best practice organizations process invoices. Before we get to the question that many fumble, I'd like to share with you that new Payment and accounts payable content is produced for this channel every Tuesday and Thursday, and we've got some short tips on other days. So please check out our over 400 videos when you finish this one. Now to the great fumble. Most know the answer to the first part of this question, or at least I hope you do, but when asked why it matters, well, that's where the trouble starts. So the question that you're likely to be asked is, what is the master vendor file and why does it matter? Now, most know that the master vendor file is the repository of all information used by the accounts payable team to make payments. And it might also be used to house some additional information, but that's about it. Why is it important? First start is, if maintained properly, it helps protect the organization against both fraud and duplicate payments. As with the other questions, we have a link to a longer video that explains this in more detail, especially the plot. Clearly, there are many other questions you may be asked. The one that seems to get people in the most trouble, be they looking for a position in accounts payable, accounting, or any other area for that matter, is the proverbial, what is your greatest weakness? Now, resist, at least for a moment, the urge to be totally honest and blurt out your worst uh, flaw and reflect. 
You also don't want to respond with something that's really not uh, a weakness. So to help our viewers with this treacherous question, we recently did a short video addressing best practice responses, which you might you can watch right now using the link that will appear momentarily on your YouTube screen and is in the description below. As always, we appreciate your thumbs up. They help us grow, and the more thumbs up and comments we get, the more YouTube shares this recording with others who might like it. So a big thank you from me to everyone who takes the time to click the thumbs up button.